Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey guys, uh, no, I actually didn't end up PVing yesterday, but uh, my PV before that was still pretty good, so I just submitted that. But I do think, uh, I think I did alright on this task. Thanks for resubs, Randon. Thanks for the uh, Mongo Bongo. Hey everyone. No, I didn't get a 42. My PV is still 4301. Slightly mad. Thanks for the resub, Jim Midge. Thanks for the resub, Milk Stash. Scrub bartering settings, sometimes you hit consumables instead of rupees. Uh, that sounds a bit overly complicated. Not that it absolutely couldn't work, but it does seem like a bit of a stretch. But maybe. Thanks, Resub Senju. Yeah, I'll play the PC version again soon. Yeah, soon, Copium. I gotta clean out my wad folder again. Thanks for giving two subs, Mongo Bongo. Uh, no, so yeah, I am, <clears throat> I am gonna let myself just RBA anything, at least for now to experiment, except for medallions. Uh, Cause actually, so I've been thinking, um, <clears throat> So the reason for this is, I was thinking with the adult trade quest RBA, I was rethinking about, or not with adult trade quest, with, with the adult trade quest randomization, with the new setting for it, where each item is separate instead of one single chain. I was thinking that um, it made me reevaluate RBA, and I was thinking part of the reason why 
OOT randomizer is interesting in the first place is a lot of items can get multiple different uses. And RBA is kind of just another use for the trade items. And a lot of them, while some of them are pretty powerful, I think the only one that's obviously too OP is Broken Goron Sword for Medallions. And the other ones, even if they're strong, they aren't necessarily rando breaking. Like, some of them just give me interesting alternatives. Like, for example, if I get Kajiro, I could RBA Kajiro for a quiver and then I don't have to get bow. So then, for example, if I'm late game and I'm in bow mode, I could find one of the bows or I could find Kajiro, and Kajiro would be a legitimate alternative to finish the game. And so, um, I think RBA is gonna just allow me more options without being too broken. Oh, th there are some that might be strong, like Odd Potion for stones might be strong. But then also for stuff like RBAing for stones, uh, RBA deletes some stuff, and in normal speedruns, you could work around RBA deleting stuff by just routing around it. You could just route the stuff that deletes after you RBA the thing. But in, in randomizer, I can't really do that. So when I RBA something that could potentially delete stuff, I'm actually going to have to think about, am I okay with what I'm deleting? And if I'm not okay with what I'm deleting, is it just not worth it to do that RBA? So, so I want to ex experiment with this. It could be more broken than I think, and this could be a bad idea. But I think it's at least worth experimenting with. Uh, thanks for the re uh, resub, Wham Bam. S she stole the van. Thanks for getting five subs, Jody. Thanks for the resub, Joe Bangler. Oh yeah, let's uh, start a Gamba. All right, here's your Gamba. Bomb track in Death End Crater, perfect. So that means bomb track will probably show up a lot because that's that's like the DC slash cave music. Yeah, they added the VC crash item. It's great. I think it's reset, not spiders. And yeah, also, also I mentioned, or I didn't mention it, but it's on the in the text on the screen. I also added silver rupees. So for the silver rupees, um, they also added a thing called silver rupee pouches where. Uh, it, it looks like a wallet, so when you get the silver rupee pouch, it gives you all five silver rupees for that room. So if you remember the last few times I've done silver rupees, uh, I almost never completed a single rupee room, because getting all five silver rupees for a single room is almost impossible. Um, so... So this way, there's still going to be five silver rupees randomized in... There's still going to be five checks in a room where there normally would be silver rupees. But I, I'll pick up a silver rupee pouch, which gives me all five rupees for a given room. And again, also, they look like wallets. So if you see a, like a wallet, but it looks kind of silver, that's not a wallet, that's a silver rupee pouch. Thanks for giving a sub. Yo, yo, you've got five on it. Yeah, and that means fire trial has a use. I actually practiced fire trial earlier.
No, the tuna color crash still isn't fully fixed. Thanks, Risa, I'm in the mage. Thanks, the resub core. The purple tunic is my default until the weird shot tunic color crash is completely fixed. Because right now they have a semi fix that doesn't actually fix it all the time. And, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna risk weird shot crashing just for tunic colors. Yeah, I always play with GameCube controller. I think you're gifting five subs, Leroy. I think you're gifting another sub, Mongo Bongo. Vibrudo on the menu. Yeah, I got Vibrudo. Alright, it's Gamba almost over. Okay, yeah, as soon as Gamba's over, I'll start. Get your last minute predictions in. First chest will be a blue rupee. Would you would you put points on it? I mean, I'm never going to put blue rupee on the Gamba. Imagine you you bet that first check is a blue rupee and it's light arrows or something. Okay, Gamba's pretty much over. Let's get started. Go to Fortress. Interesting start. Iron boots? Iron boots. Nice. Yeah, good new fanfare. No, the silver pouches do not count for wallets. They just have a similar model, but they obviously do not count for wallets. Otherwise, there would be 19 wallets, which is not not fair. The curious sword, big one sword. Big one sword and iron boots. Good first two checks. There's 14? I thought there was 16. Is, is it 14 or 16 silver rupee rooms? I could have sworn I counted 16, but it might be dumb. Oh, 
Let's reset the bell. Yeah, toilet room is at least gonna have more use now. And also, I can just peek toilet room. Like, I can just weird shot, see what's down there. Hard pieces are back. Hard pieces never left. Unless you're thinking of hard containers. Hard containers are out of the item pool now. But hard pieces are always there. More if, uh, I think it's worth it with the Goron Sword. Or worth an attempt at least. I might die though. Easy. That boss music is uh, Mega Man 9 uh, Wily Stage 1, I think. For Mega Man 9. Okay, Deku has a boss. Now I'll get thrown out. Shouldn't have even bothered grabbing it. Okay, cool. So if I find Royal Tomb, that's Frora's Wind. Is it faster to run through here with Iron Boots? Probably not. No, swimming's definitely faster. Okay, Goron City Hammer Junk. Uh, I can go to fishing. I should actually do fishing after this. Wait, no, I shouldn't. Uh, I should do it now. Nice. Nice indecisiveness. I 
Thanks, so resub enough, Dallas Goat. Thanks, resub, Fox Tony. I don't know if that was worth anything. Thanks, Reset Count Norris. Temple is Jabu MQ. I don't think I can do anything yet. All right, Jabu MQ is kind of annoying. Okay, so for a long time, I've always been neglecting getting the gossip stones here, but the gossip stone hints here. But I think I should probably stop and actually get them now. Okay, DC at Shadow. Yeah, I'll probably get the DMC Bomble Wool Gossip too. Those are the ones I always skip just because they always feel just so out of the way, but I feel like I should probably get them now. This one. I hate how short their draw distance is. Okay. Gold Gauntlet's chest is junk. I think you're giving us a flippy chaos. How often do I see for CRBA being useful? I think it'll be useful frequently. Uh, it's more a matter of how often do I see it being broken. I, I think there's, considering there's 10, there's like 10 trade items, and like five of them have re reasonably useful RBA um, mechanics. And then also there's uh, forest or, uh, not force, um, fire, ice, and light arrows can be RBA'd for boss keys also. For boss keys for, uh, fire, water, and spirit temple. So those could also be useful. I 
Uh, OMS Task 6 looks interesting. It's gonna be a lot of skull skull routing. That's gonna be the main thing. But I think it'll be interesting to route. Thanks, Reset Fire Jackson. Come on. Oh my god, I hate when you can't back up over that. Task 6 sounds painful. Okay, so the thing about Task 6, so I think a lot of people look at Task 6 and think, oh my god, 2000 on archery, that's gonna be so bad. There's a way you can cheese 2000 on archery, so it's not that bad at all. I want to avoid doing it just because I'll be cool if I do, but it might be worth it anyway. Although it does also have adult fishing, which sucks on its own. Bug Waddle 240, Silver Pea Pouch, okay, uh... Buy a... do I want to buy a stick? Yeah. Okay, wait, um... I think I don't really need that silver ruby pouch. I'm pretty sure that's kind of a junk pouch. The scythe shortcut is, uh, it's the room, the room in shadow where you have to collect the silver rupees, uh, with the spinning scythe going around. Uh, which unlocks a gate blocking a chest, which is why I don't think I'll need it because you can weird shot past that Okay, Kakiri sword is in water temple. That's fantastic I mean I do have iron boots. Well, I need two keys to get there actually well two keys or a big hover which I don't want to do Townhouse junk. Phantom Yen cannot do Phantom Yen right now. I think you're giving sub lost entity. Thanks for the resub, Hollow Fraction. I actually want full nuts. Yeah, so I took off I took off the randomization sounds for bow, slingshot, and or no. No, I left bow and slingshot on. It's um Hookshot Hookshot bombs and bomb shoes. I took off the randomization noise. But it is still for slingshot and bow. Okay, so that said graveyard was magic.
So there's a good chance I can get early magic this seed. Uh, she get the hint. Probably not making it to CAC before night, which kind of sucks. Okay, toilet room. Toilet room main item is junk. But I won't need toilet room silvers. Uh, you can sort of randomize Link's voice. There's a few different options, but there's n it's not many. It's like, I think there's like the regular option, a feminine option, and then like a deep voice option, I think. So like, there's not many options right now, but you can at least sort of change it. Change it. Hiding the shield, that's good. It might be the Dark Link op <laughs> option, yeah. Silver Rupees over there. I hate this jump. Shut up. Are you serious? Light trial, okay, that's useless. No, that wasn't a hint. It was, um... It said I, I got all the silver rupees for the light trial room in Ganon's castle. No, that's the new silver rupees thing. Yeah, it does add rupees. I just had a full wallet, but it does give you the full 25 rupees. RBA is a glitch where you get a bottle on B and it modifies parts of your inventory based on your c right item. For a long time, most people consider it to just be banned in no logic rando because it gives you free unrandomized items but i was thinking more about it and i think it might not be as broken as i thought uh so i want to experiment with allowing it and see how it goes don't need that already the job is mq okay none of those none of those are good Stands for Reverse Bottle Adventure, which, of course, is self-explanatory why it's named that, right? Sometimes the angle gets messed up here, and I don't know how. Missed
That's not an actual bomb in the inventory. Uh, what it is is there's just a, a glitch in the vanilla game where if you become adult without having a slingshot bag, it puts hover boots in uh, the quiver slot. If you don't have a slingshot bag or quiver, it puts hover boots there as adult. It's not actually anything. Uh, for Rando, they changed something so that it ends up appearing as bombs instead of hover boots in Rando, but it still doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a visual glitch, so just ignore it. I have iron boots, so I might be able to check a few extra things here. I don't know, I don't know if I should actually. Well, that hookshot actually, a lot of my iron boots checks I still can't do. Oh my god. I hate this sometimes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do two checks and then leave. No, where I live, there is no daylight savings time. But everyone around me does daylight savings time. So nothing changed for me, but because stuff probably changed for you, you might think I started streaming early today or something, but I didn't. Or late? I don't know, which one is it? Okay, so I got a hint that magic is in graveyard, so I don't know for sure if it's a dull graveyard, but might find magic soon. Okay, Shadow has hookshot. early magic seed. Those are always nice to have. Thanks, Arisa, saving Liam. 
Oh, is magic on the Gamba? I think I forgot to put magic on Gamba. All right, well, people who would not have mo voted magic, you're lucky today. Yeah, still scarce items. I uh, can't do anything here. Actually, wait, I might be able to? Uh... Does this work the way I want? Uh, cause I can... If I do this, does this work? No. Did that? No. Uh... Wait. Okay, no, I can't do anything. Might be knowing if fire is master quest or not is kind of useful. If nothing's in here, I'll get it. Oh, poacher saw. Oh, this is actually loaded, kind of. Uh, saw 200, Guinness Castle Key. Bottle 40. Okay, so everything too expensive. Very expensive. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll go get the map. Okay, it is Master Quest. Bow, that's super nice. Actually, that lets me do the equip swap that I wanted to do. Wanted to do. Um, so let me go back to the grotto now. Actually, I don't even need to need to do equip swap now. I can just use the bow because the bow goes to the web. Oh wait, no, because I can burn the webs and get the hint, and that way I won't miss the bow hint, like, in that last rando. Okay, cool. How useful. Sure, save time.
Shadow. Vanilla. Oh, I didn't mark bow. Already got that. Some streamers got their name changed to three letters. I mean, I tried asking them years ago and they said no. I mean, I guess I can try again. Is this like a new thing or like more recently people are getting their name changed? Uh, okay, frog 330. Uh... Okay, XQC getting a name change is not giving me that much hope for me. I mean, I guess I can try asking again. Silver rupees. Okay, so that opens up toilet room. Yeah, those are the new Silver Rupee patches. So now Silver Rupees and Dungeons are randomized and um, the actual Silver Rupees themselves come in pouches where I get all five Rupees at once. Um, where do I want to go? Uh, do I want to save warp? You know what? I kind of want to wait until night and check night stuff here. It's almost nighttime anyway. Kind of like key rings, yeah. Like key rings, but for silver rupees. I was thinking I might not want uh, silver rupee pouches and just have the normal silver rupees themselves. But the last few times I've done silver rupees. I never even complete a single silver rupee room because there's just so many. 
Like, the odds of getting all five silver rupees for a single room are just so low, even after like six plus hours. It's all silver rupees in uh, pouches. There's no random option yet. If there was a random option, I'd probably at least experiment with it. Oh yeah, I can do uh, I can do Phantom Ganon now, but I don't know if I want to because then I will. It'll be daytime. So I probably won't do Phantom Ganon just yet. I think I'll check up to Minuet and then save warp probably. I could go back down Zora's River and check the Skulltulas. You know, I think it'd be good if I... I think what I should do is check this stuff, save, check Zora's River Skulls, if they're junk, reset, check Gerudo Fortress Skulls and Gerudo Valley Skulls. Compass. Yeah, I can do like a little save scumming overworld nighttime skulls check. Run. Uh oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. Okay, diving experiments claim check. Strength of Define Crater. Uh, did I check the... No, I completely forgot to check the four stage grotto entrance when I was killing the skull. That's it. Yeah, I need to go back and check that. I just got like tunnel visioned on the skull to low. I play on Wii. No, skulls are all junk, this seed. Come on. 
I have played Chaos Edition a very long time ago, and I thought it was really bad. I mean, it might have been like a really early bad version, so I don't know, but I don't really have any interest in trying it again. can't get that right now. I'll just mark it down as something to come back for. Uh, I set almost every sound effect randomized that I can. Uh, I did a few seeds ago where I did actually have every single sound effect randomized, but uh, bombs, bomb chews, and hookshot in particular were kind of annoying to have randomized because they threw off a lot of my cues. So I have those not randomized, but other than those three, um, I have every sound effect that I can randomized. Definitely turned. Uh, no, the allowing RBA is not for just for choose for Shadow Bow Skip. In fact, I don't even need RBA for that. I can actually do it with either just a fully stacked 50 choose, or if I have bombs, then it lowers the explosive requirement a lot. Can't see. Where am I? I should really learn how to just back walk through here. I I know how to hess through here, and if I can't hess, then I'm lost. Giant's knife. Pathetic. Well, oh, giant's knife or ice trap. Check it. I literally can't even check it. Even if I wanted to get it, I couldn't get it. But I already have Bigoron Sword, so I know it's Giant's Knife. Okay. 
Lots of arrows, the seed. Okay, Coco's Minuet, that's kind of good. Uh, is that a key up there? Couldn't see. Yeah, a key on the rock. Spirit is KD. I can't even do KD right now. Uh, okay, so one of the Zora's Fountain dungeons is a boss. Okay, I actually want it to be nighttime, so I think I'm just gonna reset. Yeah, reset without saving. Because I didn't actually get anything good. I just got some information. Um, so now I just want to get thrown out. Deck of shield. I kind of want that, but I can't get it. No, you can't hookshot items unless they're from a gold skulltola. Um, but like, if it's like if it's a replacement for a gold skulltola token, you can hookshot it. If it's a re replacement for like, say, a heart piece, no. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go to Zora's domain, but to do that, I need to raise the water. Oh, I technically don't need to. There's technically a way to do it without it, but it's kind of dumb, and I don't know the setup. Uh, whatever. Oh yeah, I can shoot the sun. Oh no, I... <laughs> whatever, I'm too late now. I don't know how, I just forgot that. Oh well. Thanks, I can- I could have shot the, uh, the gold skull saw on the tree, too. Yeah, you can change the water level. It's a rando-specific thing that's not in vanilla. It's not like you forgot something. Wait, what am I doing? You didn't forget something from vanilla, it's just a rando thing. In Rando, it's just after you beat Morpha, um, hitting that Gossip Stone will change the water level.
Yeah, you still have to beat Morpho. For it. Because it, it's still at the lower level normally, and then when you beat Morpha, it goes to the higher level, and then if you want to lower it, you have to... If you want to lower it again after that, you have to hit the stone. Uh, that's not even worth it. It's daytime, so I can't get the Skulltula. Silver rupees. Unblock room in Spirit Temple. Okay, that's good. Or, well, it's okay. It doesn't really give me an item, but is that a skull token or? Why does it not look like a skull? But I think it's a skull. It's a skull. If this trick doesn't work, what's the most likely thing you're doing wrong? Most likely, are you doing it when King's Aura's moved? Because you have to be in a different spot whether or not King's Aura's moved. So, uh, my guess is that you're probably doing the setup for King's Aura not being moved while he is moved. In which case, you just have to be, like, a little bit farther back and towards the right. Basically, you need to make the camera pan a little bit farther if he's already moved. Deck of shield, nice. Oh, it actually has a silver rupee counter. Nice. Alright, so this room... Rooms like this are gonna be... Start being loaded because of having silver rupees randomized. Egg. Compass, I'll get that compass in a sec. Oh, I should've just checked this. Rupee. Useless compass. Uh, can I do anything else? I think no. Yeah, I don't even have a key. I can't do that. Room without explosives. I'm out of here. So that means that. Jabu must be a boss, but I can't check Jabu right now unless I do Tektite Mega Flip, which I don't want to do. Yeah, that's FD for melee. Big one is Chunk. Thanks for reset, Pain Manus. Thanks for reset, Voltor Streams. No, I haven't gotten Talon Overworld 2 yet. Still looking for that. I 
I already checked King's Aura. Okay, th I think I'm just going to child now. Can I get the West that I never get? Oh my god, I got it and I got the slow speed. I think this is at least faster than backwalking speed, but this is not the speed I want. Yeah, slow west makes me sad. It just looks so pathetic. The common man's hess. Okay, so I don't need that. Don't need that. Bomb bag is Rose River. That's good. Or wait, that might be bad. Hey, or was that Fortress or Valley? Okay, Fortress Storm's Grotto is bad. Okay, good. Uh, Fortress Storm is bad. Um, Jabu Shadows. That's an MQ job room. And then Bomb Bag in Zoro's River. So that could be Bomb Bag on Frogs. Which would not be fantastic. Now I do have a few Zoro's River checks uh, to do as child, so it could be okay. Oh, I have deck shield. Enjoy my streams. Thank you, pot friend. Uh, so that means that it must be Carpet Guy, right? Yeah, Carpet Guy must be Bomb the Walk Smoky then. Okay, so this this storm's grotto is bomb wall grotto. 
Yeah, the reason it sounds weird is because it's supposed to be Melon singing it. And the way it works for Melon singing it is it only uses like a few instruments for it. Uh, I have Ganon's boss key on eight dungeon rewards. Your favorite item, guys. I already have max rupees. Turn 420, Lido 270. Long time 75. Actually, wait, I need to double check the prices. It was 420 and 270? Yeah, 420 and 270, okay. Alright, so this is looking like an expensive seed. So I really want, uh... would really like Giant's Wallet. The upside down note indicates it's a warp song. So there's different models for warp songs and regular songs. When you heard Song of Time. Task 6 is already out. Yeah, I'm playing with GameCube controller. I always play this with GameCube controller. Uh, there's gonna be 10 OMS tasks total. Nine. Okay, there's gonna be nine, and then but and then uh, Tears of the Kingdom is gonna come out, and no one's gonna do ten. Uh, where am I going? Uh, I can't do anything. Graveyard. Palm of the Well was Water Temple. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to Palmon.
Oh, I should have got rupees. There was something worrying today, what? Almost all Japanese players using Rosalina. <laughs> so I just went from Waluigi to Rosalina. I think so, Lila. I'm probably gonna try to do both OMS and replaying uh, Breath of the Wild, but I might, I don't know, I might end up neglecting one or the other, I'm not sure. No, I don't want to wait for night just for skulls, because it takes so long to wait for night. I want to, I can, and I can at least do other things while I'm, while I'm waiting for time of day to pass. It'd be a complete waste of time to just only wait until night there. Still don't have any way to play Ocarina. What if I never get Ocarina? Well, that would make the seed annoying. But probably still doable. Well, depends on... Doable depending on circumstances, but probably annoying at least. I've done adult fishing, not child fishing. Okay, probably check this and then save warp. Check my save warp location. Yeah, I do want to do my second playthrough on Second Wind. Although, so I was looking at Second Wind updates, what their recent updates are, because I want to hopefully like catch the latest update or whatever. Uh, what do I even do? Can't do much here. I saw that they said they were going to release an update in December, and then they still haven't released whatever update they said they were going to release in December. So I'm like, is there going to be an update before Tears of the Kingdom? Because I'd like to wait on the next big update, but I don't know where it is. So wait, what am I? There's nothing else we can do here. Oh yeah, sword check. What am I doing? I'm stupid. But yeah, I'm hoping they can at least get out one last big update before Tears of the Kingdom. Spirit key. Yeah, I got the fairy ocarina check. Uh, OMS Task 6, I think it's... 
I don't want to say it's not interesting. I think the Skulltula collecting could be interesting, and some of the mini games have like interesting things associated with them. Like, uh, I mean, I think 2000 on archery is cool, but then there's also a cheese for it. But even the cheese is kind of neat. It's at least kind of unique. Um, cow and house. I mean, cow and house, I guess, isn't the most interesting thing in the world, but it is kind of unique to do. I, I'm glad that, uh, Running Man is in, because I like Running Man race. So, I mean, I guess it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's definitely less interesting than the previous task, but I think it can still be interesting. I think Danny just said I think 40 was just to balance it because like 30 is a bit too easy and more than that is kind of long. Already just seemed like a good middle ground. Will I get the fast run? That's my main goal. My main goal. I'm honestly. I might play more for the bonus points in task six than for the main thing. I really. At, at the very least, I really want to get the best running man time. Yeah, the skull slur routing will probably be pretty diverse, so it'll be interesting to see people's routing for that. Especially testing it, because testing it is going to be a lot also, so I have a lot of stuff to test. Is there usually unique and interesting ways of doing them? Uh, it varies from task to task. Some tasks have had some very interesting and unique strats, and some have been kind of basic. Um, like previous task, task five, I think, was my favorite so far, where you had to complete one adult dungeon and one child dungeon 100%. And I ended up doing Fire Temple as Child, which I thought was really fun. Okay, so I know a bomb bag is here, so I'm gonna hope that I can uh, find the bomb bag. Come on. Uh, well, task 5 results aren't out for another week, so I don't know what everyone else did. Well, I don't know what most other people did. Most people are keeping their stuff secret. So, no way to know what most people did until a week from now. I know there are at least some some people did some interesting stuff. I know uh, a Japanese runner, TKC, did uh, Forest Temple as Child, which is really neat. Because Forces Child requires a lot of um, weird tricks. I'm. It's kind of slow, but it seemed neat. Uh. Please, Coco, don't run in the water. That's a nice trap. I can't. I have to get it. <laughs> And the cocoa's gone. You see, at least down here. Okay. Please at least make it into domain before daytime.
You don't like the the po laugh for the cuckoo sound? I think it's great. Have I liked the test so far? I like task four and five. And three was okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of two and well, I was, I was a fan of what I did for task two, but the kind of base idea for task two I wasn't the big fan of. And same with task one. Task three I like. I didn't like task three at first, but I kind of started to appreciate it at the end. Wait, did I get the chest? Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a map, right? I think it was a water temple map. Uh, let me get this first. So I know, I know Jabu must be a boss. Hookshot Hidden is Shadow Temple, which I haven't found. Or, no, I have found Shadow, but I can't do anything in Shadow yet. Bongo. I can do Bongo, yeah. It'll be a bit weird, but I can do it. I thought they were doing the clapping. If I equip saw bow, it acts like slingshot, um, but it still uses slingshot seeds. Yeah, yeah, it acts like slingshot and uses slingshot seeds, so if I don't have actual slingshot, nothing interesting is gonna happen. The only the only reason to equip swap bow right now would be like if holding the bow would be something good for some reason. Like, if I want to do a weird clip. I have a fire key, right? I think I didn't mark a fire key earlier. Yeah. Water one, okay. Oops. Carry emeralds. I get Ocarina of Time check this early. That's interesting. Wait, do I have a scale? No, I don't have a scale. Um, where do I want to go? I guess Lake Hylia, yeah.
Uh, the RBA changed is just because I thought about it more and I started to realize I don't think RBA is actually that broken. Plus, I think it's interesting with the new adult trade RBA stuff, or not, adult trade randomization, where each trade item is its individual item and not in a chain. So, because in the chain, it kind of implies that if you get one trade item, then you can start doing like a ton of RBA all at once, whereas now it's just like associated with one specific item. So, I just think uh, RBA might be more. I, I, one, I don't think RBA is as broken as I thought in the first place, but also that it's more of an item, each item, or a few items at least, get more unique uses rather than like one item be giving you a bunch of different uses. So uh, there's a new... They have a new mechanic with for the adult trade item where you, you can actually have everyone in your inventory and you scroll through them with the D-pad. So like if I have if I have Kajiro and I have eye drops um, in the inventory, I can hover over the adult trade slot and I can swap back and forth with the D-pad. Shadow key. Yeah, so each trade item is, is an individual check now. So like, for example, if I get Odd Mushroom, I will get a random item from the lady in the potion shop, and that's its own specific check now. Uh, I guess just wait for night. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for night for uh, the skulls here. I'll just do this first. Oh, come on. Dude, super swim. Good low health sound. Wow, that's annoying. Can't get the fairy. Okay. Um, where do I want to go next? I'm running out of places to go. I don't have a lot of stuff to do. I don't have a lot of stuff to work with. Oh, I guess I'll get a Ocarina of Time check by taking Owl. Oh, now I do need to do Night Cack Skulls, but now it's early daytime. Uh, I guess I can do Gerudo Valley. Can I even do Gerudo Valley? I can't do anything there. Or I can do one check there. Fire key. Yeah, I did the Lake Grotto. Uh, yeah, I guess 
Get rid of Ellie. the odds the first three awards are child rewards well i guess it's three three out of nine plus two out of nine plus one out of nine, or no however you do it it's just no three out of nine then two out of eight then one out of seven do the math on that someone it's probably not that low it's probably like moderately low but not that low Okay, so this is the only check I can really do, because I already got the waterfall. Can't do soil skull. Cool. Uh, I guess save warp. I guess save warp and just camp outside Keck. 1.2%. Sounds about right. Uh, do I want to... yeah. Sucks that I don't have an ocarina yet, or any way to play a song. No, I didn't shoot the sun. I it, when I go back to adult, I'll do that first thing. Well, not first thing, but when it's convenient. There are still four bottles and scarce items. He's just vibing. Come on. I don't want to waste my stick. Slingshot, that's nice. A weapon, thank you. A we uh, a weapon besides stick. Do I want to just save warp? Yeah. Er, wait, let me... yeah. Yeah, Coco was Minuet. I already got it.
Oh, uh, the tracker's saying that I already beat Bongo and Morpha, and they had the the stones. And then uh, Gorn Ruby was just my free starting one. How do you reset on VC? You press the reset button on the Wii. You see, long ago, consoles used to have a reset button on them. Description, that's nice. I can actually do Phantom Ganon. Do I want to do Phantom Ganon? It'll become daytime. I should check Lon Lon. Where do I want to go? I think Lon Lon is a good check right now. Oh yeah, Slingshot Target, I forgot. Forgot that's a thing. Thanks, Risa, Master Link X. Um, okay, this is the last skull I can really check here. Please. Please. The Goy train. Silver rupees, cool. Can't get them. Gotta write that down. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to go adult? Uh, if I'm fast, I might be able to check Garuda Valley Skulltula. Although, probably not. I doubt it. There's no way. I'm just gonna go adult.
No, I don't have an ocarina in shop. I have two bottles in shop, but there's no ocarina in shop. Is bottle even marked? I don't have a bottle. Gaslit, yeah. Definitely trying to gaslight me again. Yeah, I love how the first seed I allow RBA, I just can't get a bottle now. Uh, can I equip swap? I cannot. No bunny hood for me. Time and then save warp, I think. Or do I want to save warp right now? Uh, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Lake Hylia, check the sun, go to King Zora, give him prescription. Uh, I guess I can go back to GTG. Well, I can only get like one extra check in GTG. That's gonna kind of suck. Can't see. Skull. Okay, I want to go to... Actually, if I go to Zora's Domain, I should wait for nighttime. I don't want to wait for nighttime though, it's so long. Yeah, skulls are junk. I should wait for nighttime because there's a skull I haven't gotten there yet. But that's such a long wait. Uh, I don't have anything else to do right now. Yeah, I checked Ice Cavern entrance. Ice Cavern is GTG. Okay, I think I am gonna wait. I'll hide in my little house box. They can't get me from here. Just try. Cag archery, yeah, I guess I can do cag archery, but I don't want to cross the map twice. Maybe I should. No, it's probably gonna be nighttime by the time I get there.
Yeah, I can I can shoot from here. These walls are one-sided. So Oh, that should have hit. I'm pretty sure that only didn't hit because of draw distance. Okay, I can probably go now. This will be awkward. Please. Uh, you don't complete the trade quest anymore, it's just you need to turn in a uh, claim check for Bigoron Sword. But now it's just every point in the trade quest is its own individual check. But it also means that there are one of every item in the trade quest in the item pool. So like I can find Odd Potion, I can find Odd Mushroom, I can find Poacher Saw, I can find Claim Check, I can find everyone. And how exactly do you expect me to get that rupee chat? I think this is the only other extra item I can get right now. Cool. Actually, wait, let me double check my silver rupees. Uh, yeah, GTG, the only one I have is um, the lava room, which I can't even get to yet. Okay, so I think 
I'm gonna try to get to CAC. Hopefully I can get to CAC before nighttime or before daytime. I don't need to check anything on my way down, so I think I can make it. Yeah, I have bomb shoot drops enabled. I just haven't found bomb shoes yet. Oh, yeah, because you're up before turning in prescription. Uh, you can scroll through the items in, in your inventory now, so you get, uh, so you don't lose any trade items. You get every single one. So, like for example, oh no, prescription is the only one I have. But like, you can just hover over the item in your inventory and you can scroll through them with T pad. No, frog doesn't start. Or I don't think frog starts the timer. I'm pretty sure all the timers are disabled. I need to go back to Water Temple and just... Well, actually, I do have more Water Temple keys, right? The Water Temple is actually probably a good play right now. Sorry, a song. What sucks is I have Lullaby, and I can't even use it in Water Temple because I don't have an Ocarina. Uh, is this a good idea? I have to save Scum. Okay. I'm only going to be able to check. I'm only going to be able to check the Skulltal in here, and I couldn't even get it if it is good. Rupee. Uh, the game quality looks so good because one, I have an H I have an a Wii that can output HDMI, and also I'm using an upscaler. I'm using a M Classic upscaler to upscale it to 1080p. So cheating, I'm cheating at quality, sure. I, I'm stupid. I have to do the hard way to do this. Yeah, it's an internal HDMI mod. Uh, it's called Wii Dual. I, I can actually output both HDMI and analog at the same time. Uh, and that means I can actually play on a CRT. Like, I'm playing on a CRT right now. 
but the HDMI input is going to my capture card, which is really nice. So you guys get good quality, I get no lag. I need to kill this guy. this trick. Do I also see a stream source on another monitor? Yeah, I have my OBS window open next to me, so I can look at it, but it's like barely in the corner of my eye, so I'm not really seeing it. Like, I can see it if I intentionally look at it, but it's not like uh, something I primarily see. How do you drop inside the ledge? It's called a ledge clip where you, uh, if you target a wall on the frame, you grab a ledge. Then Link's body faces towards the wall that you targeted. Um, but because of how he grabs a ledge, uh, that can make him like clip inside the ledge. Come on, that's not what I meant. Bad at this. No. Actually, I got a hint for this one, didn't I? This is, I'm pretty sure this is junk. It's working on every ledge. It actually only works on ledges uh, where you're facing, where the wall is to your right. Yeah, it only works if the wall is to your right and it also only works as adult. There are technically edge cases where those things don't always apply, where you sometimes can do it on your left and sometimes can do it as child, but they're, uh, you have to have very specific circumstances. Um, I think I leave. What sucks is Shadow is DC, and DC would be pretty good right now. Actually, wait, would it? Could I even do anything in DC? I don't think I could actually. As child, I could with the quip swap. Um, I guess I go to fire temple. I guess I have to do paw jump to fire. Keep here prescription. Uh, no, I mean, I mean, I need to equip swap stick, and I can't equip swap stick right now. Shadow temple's in there, but I can't do anything in shadow. I can't get get across the gap.
Okay, first try. Yeah, the pod pushes you. Gives you a little bit of an extra boost to your jump. Ice Cavern, uh... Not the greatest, but I don't have much of a choice right now. Wait a second, I have Iron Boots. Should still work, just slower. Thanks, reset the tackle. Ice Cavern Compass. I think I can't do anything in this direction. Uh, yeah. If only QPA. Actually, I want to test something real quick. So QPA shouldn't work uh, on breaking ice or with uh, red ice, but there's a chance they could have changed something because the way it was implemented was kind of weird. I just want to test real quick. No, okay, never mind. Yeah, the seed is rough so far. If only I had blue fire arrows, that'd be really helpful right now. Oh, this is a silver rupee room. Any of the silver rupees good? Oh, key ring. Thieves hide out. Uh, that could be good. My save warps at thieves hide out. Yeah, I have something to work with. That's good, at least. Okay, so this is going to be annoying. Actually, wait, can I even do this? No. Stop. No. I forgot if they lose their ice. Okay, uh, no, I can't damage boost into this. Okay, I have to give up on this then. I was gonna have the keys damage boost me into the ice, oh my god. But they will just freeze me instead.
That's not what I meant. Attack me from this side. Okay. There's something. Seeds in there, right? Yeah. Uh, nothing else here. Yep, okay. Leave here. So, I got everything except for one chest in Ice Cavern. I hope that chest isn't anything good because that is going to be a very annoying chest to come back for. Gonna have to save warp out here. I guess I can go check fortress now. Look like mirror? Uh, you might have seen a heart piece. There definitely was no mirror shield there. But yeah, I got strength there. I also know there's another strength in DMC, right? Yeah. There's another strength in DMC, but it's probably a, either a check I can't get or a check as child, which I now can get after getting one strength, although it's not going to be easy. It also means I can do King Dodongo, which is at Spirit Temple, which... Probably is gonna be yeah. It's probably good to go do KD after this then. I shouldn't have done that. Well, the thing about DC is that it's at uh, Shadow Entrance, which my only way to get to Shadow Entrance right now would be Poe Hover, which I would prefer not to do. But I might get trapped in a corner. Yeah, Bomb Track and DM, or, uh, DMC and Thieves Hideout use the same music track. So any randomized track is gonna go over both of them. Same with like Grottos and Deku Tree use the same track. And also DC uses the same track as DMC and Thieves Hideout. Well, there is an option for it to have uh, just have to open one door 
but it's also it also makes it so there's only one check. Uh, only only one guard to free. So yeah, this way I have it. I have to free them all, and because also I have random key rings on, which means I don't know if it's gonna be a key ring or a small key. And if they are small keys, I want to make sure I have to free each individual one. I mean, it would be nice if, like, somehow a key ring specifically meant I could just free a single one, but it'd be weird to implement. Thanks the raid, Silent Kenny. Just resub Ted the Bod. Um. What? Am I, okay, I want to go to Spirit. I think I can't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't do this at daytime. In case, I'll try. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. I can. Yeah, I use bow there instead of C up because of Navi. How does anti grab work? Uh, it's hard to exactly explain, but basically, if you are pushing up against a slanted ceiling, um, and depending on the slope of the ceiling, uh, it can like just have Link stick to the ceiling, like uh. It's trying to... How do I describe it? I, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, you're, you're essentially sticking to the ceiling if, uh... It's essentially setting your Y velocity to zero. It's like resetting your Y velocity constantly. Which gives you... Gives it the look of sticking to the ceiling if you're going up against a downward sloped ceiling. You can also do it with horizontal ceilings, it, but it'll only do a temporary anti-grab. It'll just reset your uh, Y velocity once. Like, you probably see it a lot. If I just jump against a wall that has a ceiling below it, you'll probably see that sometimes I'll stop falling as fast for a short time. That's also how the, uh, bo how the boat skip worked for that boat skip hover I did. Where it just temporarily, like, just, uh, for one instant, it resets your Y velocity, but resetting your Y velocity drastically slows how much you fall, how fast you fall. I already got the chest earlier. It was a compass for something that doesn't matter. I forgot. Yeah, and if I have to, I can go back. Wait, have I gotten the replicum check? Yes, I did. Okay, never mind. Oh, I can go beat Phantom Ganon now. I need to go do that. Check. 
Light medallion. Oh, I just realized I'm kind of dumb. I can do Jabu MQ now as child. Uh, it's in Water Temple, which is a bit out of the way, but I have Slingshot, so that's good. So I should probably do that. I think I should go check Ganon's Castle. I can check Ganon's Castle entrance now. Actually, I should probably go beat Phantom Ganon. Um... A lot of people haven't seen that before, huh? That's a... It's a very old glitch, it's just swimming on land. All you do is you just target while swimming and then use iron boots and then take them off when you swim up to the land and then you're just swimming on land. Yeah, it's a very boomer trick. She's the hardest trick. Okay, so I think now I'm gonna go back to child, or I'm gonna check Ganon's castle entrance and then go back to child. As child, I can do a lot of stuff in Goron City with strength, 
and I can do uh, Jabu, which is a water temple, although I'm going to have to clip in, which is going to be annoying. It's not that bad. It's reset Viltacular. Hookshot is in Shadow Temple, and I currently have... I know where Shadow is, and I currently have no way to get past the first gap. I need either bombs or hookshot or hover boots in order to do anything in Shadow. No, I haven't found Ganon's Castle yet. So, Ganon's Castle is either Forest Temple or it's down a dungeon chain. <clears throat> uh, bomb trees have three. There's three uh, bomb tree checks. There are three bomb trees in the item pool. Spirit Medallion. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, for crouch stabbing bosses, for stun locking them, some bosses you just stun lock just by uh, timing crouch stabs uh, at the right time. Not all bosses can be stun locked though, and there are some that require like a special condition, like Phantom Ganon to do a true stun lock. You also have to shoot a projectile at him at the right time. But for example, like Goma, uh, Ganondorf, Bongo, those. To do a stun lock, you just have to time your hits correctly. There's hookshot, cool. Uh, so prelude is hookshot. Rare time, prelude is good. I still think I'm gonna go to uh, Jabu right now. Because I think I can do a lot there. But now I can also... Yeah, Temple of Time, not foolish. Actually, what kind of sucks is that I could have beat Phantom Ganon earlier, but I intentionally put it off because of time of day routing issues. Uh, but I guess this means it would have been better to do it earlier, but at the same time, I had no way of knowing it would have been Forest Medallion. I didn't have a compass. Wait, did I have a compass? Okay, I didn't know it was Force Million. Okay, well, it's still... I still, like, never really consider... Oh, no, I'm not going to make this. That's so hard. I'm just going to clip first. Work. 
There we go. So I know DMC has strength upgrade, so hopefully one of these is strength. Yeah, it sucks that I still can't play Saria song. Water key. Actually, I should probably grab more sticks. I think that's too late. Yeah. Or I guess it was early. I'm not gonna go for Rolling Goron. I'm only gonna do the pot and then I'm gonna hest the rock maze. Oh my god. I did not mean to jump down. Uh, pass. Yeah, I guess I should have got the other stick, but whatever. Okay, so I know uh, the hammer chest is junk, so I only need to check these ones, which is convenient, because I have no way out of here. Okay, water central pillar is junk. Actually, that said center pillar chest, right? Yeah, okay. I don't have a scale, right? No. Yeah, skull split token milestones are also checks, but I already know that they're all junk in this seed. Oh, where am I going? Oh, 
so right now I'm trying to go to Water Temple. And I have Serenade, but I can't play Serenade. Because I don't have an Ocarina. And I want to go into Zora's Domain to go to Water Temple, to go to Lake Hylia. And to get into Zora's Domain, I have Lullaby, but I can't play Lullaby to get past the waterfall. So I have to go all the way down Zora's River to get the Coco. To fly past the waterfall to get into Zora's Domain. And then I have to clip from Zora's Domain to Lake Hylia. Because I don't have an Ocarina. Yeah, or no bottle. I have bunny hood. Why am I not using bunny hood? Any chance I make it in before daytime? Probably not. Nah. Alright, hopefully Drop has got something decent. I can do quite a lot of checks with uh Blingshot. Jabu Town. Thanks to Raid Megan. I think this uh, Mystic Mob. Uh, to do enemy lock on ISG, you 
have to target, uh, you have to target and press C up on the same frame, uh, at the end of your crouch stab. So, like, with the same timing as you would press A. Otherwise, it's just, uh, Z and C up at the same time. Nice, got the double. Goron Tunic, that's something I guess. So I know that room over there is junk, which is good because that room's super annoying. This is kind of annoying. Please work. Okay. I was trying to save sticks and I ended up wasting four sticks. Okay, I think I can't do anything else here. Let me double check. I forgot what this room over here is. I think this is a tentacle that I can't do anything with. I think I save warp out. Thanks, Resub Owen Jilla. Okay, I think just go back to adult now. Okay, so I think, I think DC is probably where I should go first. DC being at shadow entrance. All right, go on, Tunic. Oh. Good color.
What am I even trying to farm? I'm full on everything. Here, let me just do it over here. Probably gonna have to keep QPA for like the entire dungeon. I already found that. Why does the entrance always lag? Uh, probably just a lot of the the when the walls like that break, they break into a lot of particles, and that probably that plus it has to show the entire room at the beginning, probably just a lot. Is he still after me? Okay. Man, I'm gonna save warp right before the best part. Sorry. It's okay, you'll probably hear it again. PC's long. Hammer, thank you. That is extremely good. Finally, the seed's getting somewhere. Thanks for giving sub, Mongo Bongo.
Uh, it's not as simple as just need explosive mirror shield boomerang. It's uh, it can be complicated depending on exactly. Well, for one, I don't know where Ganon's castle is. I don't know where um, either Vavagia or I don't know where Vavagia, Baronade, or Trinova is. Um, so I still need to find bosses. I'll I know I'll, I'll need at least one of. Mirror Shield or Boomerang, no matter what. But exactly what else I'll need uh, is kind of up in the air, depending on a lot of factors. I couldn't end up needing some keys. I couldn't end up needing... Like, uh... Couldn't end up needing something crazy for light arrows. Yeah, and boss keys too. Although boss keys I at least know are in their own dungeon. See, here's the best part. Why is this so hard to hook shut? That was not faster. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's uh the room in GTG that leads to Silver Block. That's a really important one. So I have a lot more open in, in GTG now. Yeah, that's something new. That's something I just added. The uh, silver rupee pouches. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get to the end of DC. I mean, technically I can, but I don't actually know the setup for it. Uh, I'll give it one yellow shot. Right, how does this work? It's like... There's no way I got this. Nah. At least I have hammer now. I have something. No, this isn't the longest I've gone without explosives. I've gone much longer, unfortunately. Okay, I want to... Do I go to Shadow? I might go to Shadow next. I need to double check what my hints are. Hey, hey, hey. 
Uh, I think I should actually... Okay, I'm actually gonna check, uh, Zoro's River. So I still have a hint that Zoro's River has a bomb bag. And I guess I can check some, like, uh, um, field Grottos in the way. So I still have a hint that Zoro's River has a bomb bag. And at this point, it's most likely either the Song of Storms Grotto or Frogs. But there's one thing that it still could be. Oh yeah, I didn't get the Rita Grotto in Kek. There's one other grotto it could still be that I just need hammer to open. Hammer or explosives. So because it could give me a bomb bag because it's so high value, I think it's worth going out of the way for. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back with the redead grotto. Hold on. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get bomb bag in Zora's River. Yeah, all the skulls are junk. And also I can get that key I skipped earlier. What's more important right now, bomb or bottle? Probably bomb. Yeah, I think bomb's more important right now. What's actually most important right now is wallet though, because I need two wallets to buy light arrows. And uh, nothing really matters uh, item wise if I can't buy light arrows. Ken's castle key. I guess that at least opens up light trial. Oh, come on. Actually, wait, should I? Or no, never mind. I was thinking of going to uh, GTG, but I can't get. I still can't play Lullaby. Oh my god. Okay, I know this was a compass. I should actually get this because it could be a, a useful compass. Again, this guy's already knew that. Never mind. Uh, so the weird shots we're shotting into grotto is it's actually called a weird clip It's basically the same as a weird shot except you don't let go of Z if you don't let go of Z then uh, link ends up clipping 
through what's in front of you. Bomb tree bag. Okay, choose. Finally, explosives. Thank you. That worked. I don't like choose on that button. Our choose or bombs better. Uh, it really depends on the circumstance. They are both very good, but and both have their own unique things. Uh, in vanilla, I'd say choose are a bit better. In rando, I'd say bombs are a bit better. Oh, convenient. Or uh, can I? Uh. I don't think it's worthy to weird shot, actually. I think I'm just gonna two cycle the Lodge intentionally. I could just use choose to one cycle the Lodge, but it's gonna be. I don't wanna waste all my shoes. So I think I'm actually going to. Just two cycle. Yeah, I checked the second fourth metal skull. I checked that a long time ago. Didn't realize you could chew Bavaja. Yeah, it's that they used to be before we knew about the like way to cheese Bavaja using the underground hitbox. Uh, shooting Bovagia in the air was actually the main way to beat Bovagia fast. There was there was a really old route where uh, you entered Bovagia's room with like 40 seconds or so. And you had to get a two-cycle Bovagia by shooting like, I think it was at least four arrows in the air, three or four arrows in the air. And if you didn't get it, your run was dead and you'd die. That was fun. Bovagia was like the ultimate run killer. Actually, it's not that ice arrows do double damage to Bovagia. Ice arrows do double damage in general. They do four damage while the other arrows all do two. Uh, Gans boss key is set to um, uh, eight dungeon rewards, so I need one more. Uh, yeah, might as well kill. But also, I don't even know where Ganon's castle is yet. Ganon's castle, I know now, must be behind a dungeon. Oh, I know for Rosewind is here. Hey, hey, hey. 
Boomerang and Furrow's Wind in the same thing that is super good. And then this one's Furrow's Wind. Very nice. Okay, I think I... Okay, I need to go... Back here. Yeah, still no ocarina. Now you tell me. Fire arrows. Okay, so here's a cool thing about RBA is that uh, the magic arrows can actually RBA boss keys. So fire arrow actually RBAs the fire temple boss key. Now, I don't have a bottle. So I don't know if I'll be able to use that. But if I do end up doing RBA, um, I now have the option of RBAing the fire boss key. That's not where I want to go. Silvers. I did get a hint about the strength being in here, so I was expecting- I was hoping either that or, um, this grotto up here. And if it wasn't either of those two, it would have been the fairy fountain, which would have been bad. Well, not awful, I guess. This one's dumb. Okay, frog's bed. Guru to Valley Foolish. Wish I had Sun Song. Good Valley has been my only foolish hint so far. Uh, how many shadow keys do I have? One. Uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, can't really do that much in shadow. I think I'm just gonna check dead hand up to dead hands. I probably want to go back to DC. Yeah, I definitely want to go back to DC. Go beat DC. I just realized, why did I not go to the end of Javu as child when I was there? That's dumb. I definitely should have done that.
Oh wait, I know why. I couldn't... Well, okay, I, d I technically could get to the end, but it would have been super annoying, that's why. But now I can definitely do it. Uh, well, actually, RBA hasn't affected anything at all yet because I still haven't even gotten a bottle. Of course, the first time I allow RBA is the longest it's taken me to find a bottle. Uh, silver rupees are interesting. I've... A few in I've... Uh, th there's a lot of checks in silver rupee rooms now, and I've gotten a few things in silver rupee rooms now, which is cool. And I like the silver rupee pouches. How much was the cheaper bottle? I think they were both over 200. Um, yeah, one bottle was 480. The other bottle was 240. Yeah, so both under, over 200. Anything, there's a map. That's not helpful. Okay, I guess I'll I'll do a short save scum here. I don't have hover boots, don't try that. Champ, nothing interesting is happening there. Yeah, I have ZL, but I just don't have a way to play it. Imagine I'm forced to do boat skip because I don't have an ocarina or a bottle, and not because I don't have lullaby or Furrow's wind. This chest is, for some reason, good surprisingly often. Alright, Sun Song is worth keeping. If only I could actually play the song. Yeah, GTG I'll go to probably next after DC. Oh, 
Bottom of the well entrance was Water Temple. Which, now that I have Hookshot and Iron Boots, I can actually do a lot more of Water Temple. Uh, so actually I might do it before I... I might do it after DC, actually. The weep sound is the item pickup sound. So like when I pick up the arrows there. Streamer went five minutes without talking. One, no, it was not five minutes without talking. And two, sometimes there's nothing to say. Sometimes I'm just playing the game. Actually, I should be going up. Er, no, I shouldn't. Never mind, I want to go down first. Shouldn't need this, but just in case. That was a regular side hop.
Second course meta, already know it's a boss. Already be able to watch you there. The Deku tree map. Deku map in Deku. I shouldn't have done this. Oh well. Yeah, nothing much in Deku so far. Oh, we got it. Okay, Ganon's Castle. All right, we have a real dungeon chain, a three dungeon chain there. Well, it's not that long of a dungeon chain, I guess. Okay, so Ganon's castle is interesting because with uh, with silver rupees randomized, Ganon's castle has a massive number of checks. So Ganon's castle has a significant chance to be loaded. There's one. So like for example this room here used to have no purpose and now there are silver rupees here. Uh okay. Fire trial. Okay. Uh I don't think fire trial uh silver rupees matter, but cool. Uh what's the one behind the beamos I can't see? Blue rupee. Okay. The rest of these are junk. I forgot, Water Trial doesn't have rupees in vanilla, right? Yeah, it's Spirit, Light, Fire Force, okay. In Master Quest, there are silver rupees in Water Trial, which is getting me confused. Yeah, you can get the Fire Trial uh, Gold Gaunt block without Gold Gaunts. In fact, I practiced it earlier just for this. So luckily I already know the Gold Gaunt's um, chest here is junk, so I need to go check it. Although if I did have to, I have Fire Arrows, so it would have been easy. Still rupees over there. Okay, so that is uh that's toilet room completed.
And I also got the silver rupees for opening toilet room, so that's good. Uh, I actually don't have reason to do this without checking what it is first. I actually could have just done the C up thing to check what it is. Okay. Well, for the fans. I forgot if it's one or two ESS terms, I hope this works. Okay, it's one. <laughs> Bottle, thank you. Actually, that's really clutch because... Wait, no, it's not clutch. Uh, so, I was gonna say it's good because... I can now play Lullaby in the next room over for the chest there. Except I can't because I need to go get something to put the bottle put inside the bottle to do OI. I guess I'll set for Aura's Wind here. Yeah, I'll set for Aura's Wind here, we're back. Kajiro. Wait, I guess I could use a fairy. Uh that's gonna be weird, but that should work. Speaking of which, I actually haven't gotten the scrubs yet. No, because your doesn't overwrite eye drops. Uh, you actually keep each one in your inventory, and uh, you can scroll through them with the D pad. Wait, no, this isn't gonna work unless I have gold gauntlets. Because <laughs> in order to clip back in, I need to put away my bottle. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to use Furore's Wind. I can despawn the block, but... Can I despawn the block without... Putting away the bot. Okay, I think this will work. Actually, let me try. Toilet room is the swirling water room in Gruta Training Grounds. Never put bottle away, this should work. Okay, the block's gone. Okay, this should work then. That is a convoluted way to set up OI. Or wait, I hope this will still spawn? There's a chance this might not spawn. Okay. And there's also five more silver rupees behind that door, so two Ganon's castle keys actually matters now. Uh, 
Uh, here, since I don't need Furrow's Wind anymore, I'll just warp back to, uh, get rid of the extra loaded stuff. Photo card. Uh, wait, am I missing something? Oh, yeah. Spirit key. Alright, uh, cool Ganon's Castle. Yeah, I think Ganon's Castle is a lot more fun with, uh, with that going on. Okay, so DC leads to Deku, leads to Ganon's Castle. Anything good I can RBA now? I can RBA Fireboss Key with, uh... I can RBA Fire Boss with Fire Arrows, so if I find Fire Temple, I can get to the end pretty quickly. Uh, I did get Kajiro, right? Kajiro can RBA a Quiver and a Bomb Bag. Problem is, I can't... a Bomb Bag wouldn't do any good if I can't equip bombs, and I don't need a Quiver since I already have arrows. So, Kajiro is kind of useless to me. Uh, let me double check which trade items I have, so I... I have okay, so I have eye drops, Kajiro. Prescription I already did, so I have so I can do eye drops and Kajiro. Oh, I need to get bugs. Uh, here, let me just get them from this rock. I already did the ZL Grave. No, the blue cargo doesn't wake anyone up. It's, uh... The, you're thinking of a child trade item. The child trade item is what wakes Talon up. But, I mean, technically you wake up Talon with the adult Coco too, but it doesn't actually do anything. That just unlocks being able to trade for Kajiro. Kajiro you only, uh, give to the guy in Lost Woods. For another item. Oh yeah, I can do windmill guy, I forgot. I'll do this, I'll do it after this. Alright, so I don't need to save scum at all in water now. I already checked the skull here, so I can just go straight. Uh, I'm not really sure what's faster between this or Chu. I think in this case it probably would have been fastest to go to Windmill first and then use Chu. Uh, but I feel like if you're not going to Windmill, uh, that clip's probably good enough. It's probably like around the same time either way. I don't think one is significantly faster than the other. OMS task results are out a week after the task ends, so it'll be Sunday. Sunday is when uh, task 5 results are out.
Okay, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, remember those? That's not an actual wallet, that's just... It is the wallet model, but that's just uh, silver rupees. The iron boots noise being randomized is so funny. Don't, don't. Okay, so this is Kakiri Sword. Yeah, the new um, sound effects randomization is a new setting. They added a few different options now for like iron boot sounds. They also added an option for like bow, hookshot, um, bombs. I, I turned off bombs and hookshot though because it was messing with me. Actually, it might be faster. Yeah, this is Fennel Branch. There hasn't your bosses yet. I I haven't been able to do um many dungeons just because I was very under equipped for a long time. I would just go down here. Yeah, being under equipped for a long time kind of held me off from doing dungeons, but um. Now I can finally do stuff, so I should get Water Boss Key very soon. I also still haven't found uh, Spirit or Fire. Gambon next BK? No, a Gambon BK wouldn't make any sense because Boss Keys can only be in their own dungeons in my settings. So, like, I know Water Boss Key is in Water Temple, so it'd be kind of pointless to Gambon on that. No, I don't think uh, BKs in their own dungeons is too easy. In fact, I think the opposite is true because what tended to happen when I have B uh, boss keys outside of dungeons is that most of the time I'm more likely to find boss keys outside of dungeons than inside dungeons. And so I ended up just skipping most of dungeons. So by doing this, it actually forces me to do dungeons.
Speaking of the boss key. Also, a reminder that I still need two wallets in order to buy light arrows to beat the game. And I still have zero wallets. Yeah, most Sphere Zero checks are outside of dungeons. I think there's really only a small handful of Sphere Zero that's inside dungeons. Okay, that's good. So that means I can beat Shadow now. Well, I can beat Shadow if I find the boss key. Well, actually, okay, that doesn't guarantee I can beat Shadow. So I might need a key to get the boss key, and then I don't have another key to actually get to Bongo. Uh, you can't... There's no way to... By RBA light arrows, if you mean, like, is there a way to use RBA to get light arrows into your inventory? That doesn't exist. You can't just use RBA to get light arrows. Now you can do RBA with light arrows on C right, and what that does is it gives you the Spirit Temple boss key, which could be useful, yeah. Uh, wait, I already knew that this chest is junk, right? Yeah, Water Center chest is junk, I don't need this. Uh... Oh, wait, so is that all... Is that all water? I think it is. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No. Or er, wait. I don't know. I think I'm good, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one method of RBA, or one type of RBA, where I modify um, item amount. Like, the more common RBA you'll see is like, for example, I'll modify my bomb chew count uh, <laughs> by catching with Poe on C right, or something like that. We can also use it to get uh, different items in your inventory. Like, for example, um, I can use, I can RBA Kajiro to get a bomb bag and a quiver. Um, but I already, I already have a quiver and bomb bag are useless without bombs. Uh, and I also, like, I can do, um, light, like, light arrows, fire arrows, and ice arrows get me, uh, fire, fire water and, uh, spirit boss keys. Oh my god. But the, the items that get me, like, unique stuff is mostly uh, adult trade items and those magic arrows. Baronade. Uh, I cannot equip swap right now.
but child can do this. This is a good reason, this is a good excuse to go child actually. Because then I can both beat Baronade and I can go check the end of Jabu. Have I raised Dampe yet? I haven't found Dampe race yet. Oh yeah, I still need to check all the Hyrule Field Grottos. I'll just check this one right now. Oh, I can also do Big Po. Although, Big Po is going to be kind of annoying. I'll have to dump my bugs. I can get them easily as child. Uh, why'd I do that? Skull Mask has the other slingshot. Beans. I have never played Splatoon, no. Okay, so it looks like this seed is probably going to end up being a wallet search, which is a bit annoying. What's in the shops? Light arrows. Light arrows cost 270 rupees, which means I need two wallets for it. Yeah, wallet mode. That's a that's a unique one. We're all kind of RBA. Um, for what items I have right now, the only meaningful thing I could RBA right now is uh, Fire Temple Boss Key using Fire Arrows. Although I don't even know where Fire Temple is yet, so it's not 
really that important. Although, I guess I should... I probably should RBA it regardless, like... Uh, it's not like there's any downside to RBAing it, so maybe I should just do it the first time, first opportunity I can get. How's RBA discovered? Uh, by messing with the stealing the fishing rod glitch. Because the stealing the fishing rod glitch was a very old, uh, like one of the first glitches discovered in OOT Classic. And then, uh, by messing with it a little, you can get Deku Sticks on B. And then with having Deku Sticks on B, you can turn Deku Sticks into a bottle, because there is also this old, well-known um, method of... Where do I want to go? Serenade. There's this old, well-known method of um, duping, bo doing bottle duping. Uh, over Deku Sticks, over um, a bunch of different items, but one of them being Deku Sticks. So it's like, okay, if you steal the rod, and then you can steal a rod and turn it into Deku Sticks, and you can turn Deku Sticks into a bottle, what happens if you get a bottle on your B button? And then weird things happened. Uh, yeah, this way. I uh, know I haven't found Bomb of the Well yet. I haven't found Bomb of the Well, Fire Temple, Forest Temple, and Twin Rova. Oh, and Spirit Temple. Although Spirit, I could do Spirit Hover for. Although Spirit Hover is annoying without Hover Boots, but... Well, actually, I have Beans now, so... Well, Beans don't really help Spirit Hover that much, actually, without Hover Boots. But I have Choose now, at least, so I could... I could realistically do Spirit Hover with Choose and Hookshot. Yeah, QPA can kill these Tentacles. Wait, do I need to kill these? There's no items. I don't get any items from them. I'm stupid. Yeah, it's a good slingshot sound effect.
Fire Temple. I guess I can save scum the bottom here. Yeah, I am I am recently experienced with this, so Well this is MQ fire is a bit different than vanilla fire, but still. No, you are not allowed to do OMS tests in MQ. Oh right, you do need to beat them. I thought you could just skip them. Poor guy, can't even hit me. Oh, did I not? I'm slash. Actually, did I get anything? Did I get any important items? Can I just reset? I think I didn't, right? Yeah, I can just reset. Yeah. I want to keep my. Uh, I want to keep my keys. I know Chu ISG. It's a, what what it actually is is damage ISG. Where you are shielding damage, and if you, uh... You're shielding damage, and if you... See up while shielding damage, you can do ISG. So this will give me Fire Temple boss key. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think getting this chest is gonna be too annoying as child. I think I'm just gonna skip this chest. Just check the boss door. I guess I can at least save. Turn Rova. Can't do it. Yeah, Mark Fire BK. Also, does anyone remember if I got fire map before? Yeah, I did get fire map before. Never mind. I was gonna check if um, RBAing the because I also get the fire map from that RBA, and I wanted to double check if the fire map RBA also told me the dungeon whether it's vanilla or MQ. Okay, so because I might want to come back here as adult and I can't equip swap right now, I'm actually gonna go back and beat the tentacles. So that um, the way to the boss is open as adult. Yeah, RBA permanently gives you the item you RBA. Although, so it's not really that good to say it gives you an item because the way RBA works is it, it's just modifying your inventory to a certain state. And what that means is it can also delete items. Like for example, uh, Poacher Saw modifies some of your songs, and it can give you songs like Lullaby or Nocturne, which seem really good. But it can also delete stuff like Saria's Song and Sun Song. And so it's not very good to say it'll just give you Lullaby because it, it will set Lullaby in your inventory, but it could also delete songs if you are not careful. And so, some items you have to be very careful with how you RBA. Because it doesn't matter uh, what you have before, it just will set your inventory, set certain parts of your inventory to an exact state. I'm allowing myself to RBA anything except Broken Goron Sword, which is uh, the one that RBAs medallions, only because. Arbing the medallions is just going to be way too OP because it gives you four medallions, which is insane. Um, and it also, there's also not much uh, like risk um, management with it because Song of Storms, that's really good. So like how I mentioned with Poacher Saw, um, you have to be careful with uh, how you use it because you can delete stuff. But with Broken Goron Sword, it can delete Minuet and Bolero, and Light and uh, Light Medallion. But those are things that, for the most part, aren't going to matter. I mean, Light Medallion kind of, but not really. So, uh, so that's why specifically I don't allow that because I think that's just too OP. Uh, for now I'm not allowing BA, but but maybe. I kind of feel like BA might be too powerful because I can just BA light arrows. Um, oh, I might as well plant beans. Oh, and I need to get Scarecrow Song. Okay, I'll keep these settings. I'm at least going to uh, leave these settings on for a little bit to experiment with. I'm not going to take it off immediately. Yeah, so now I know where... I'm pretty sure I know where the remaining bosses are. So, Jabu leads to fire. So, Jabu leads to fire leads to Twinrova. Uh, Baronade was water boss, so I need to go to bottom of the well. And I can also spirit hover into spirit temple. Yeah, this is still scarce item pool. I scarce item pool is gonna be permanent. I'm pretty sure. I already got the bug. Or wait, did I get the bug skulls? No, I didn't. I forgot. I haven't been here with bugs before.
I should have gone back for it. No, bottles doesn't, uh, bottles are not affected by a scarce item pool. Um, I wanted to, and I need to go to the bottom of the well, but I also need to check some grottos. Oh yeah, I didn't mark storms. See, yeah, hold on. Nice. Oh, I can do most of frogs now. Oh, I should be able to get my uh, bomb bag then. I'm essentially in wallet mode. I technically still need to beat Baronade in order to get uh, Ganon Bosky, but I'm not really in a rush for Ganon Bosky because I don't need the light arrow hint since I know where light arrows are, and I need two wallets, so uh, not really in a rush to get Ganon Bosky immediately. I didn't check. Was that Spirit Temple something? Okay, I think that's Spirit Temple Moving Wall Room, probably. Oh, Sun Song. You can only RBA adults wallet. So, yeah, going back to RBA, if I get, um, Pocket Cuckoo, if I get Pocket Cuckoo, I can RBA one wallet. So that can help me. So I'm actually kind of looking for four items. I can find Three wallets or pocket cocoa will all help me. Although, if I find pocket cocoa after I find the first wallet, then it doesn't matter. The bugs is for doing a glitch to play ocarina without having ocarina. Like this. Weird Egg is the child one, Pocket Egg is the adult one, the one that RBAs, um... Uh, that RBA is the wallet. <laughs> wallet. I already got this right. Yeah.
Damn pay. Pokemon Sword. That, that's the one item I'm not letting myself RBA because that is OP. Although, in this case, it actually would not even help. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've now narrowed it down that Bomb bag must be on frogs. Now it could be on a Pona song, but there's a pretty good chance I should get bomb bag here. Could you get me Nocturne Lex? Uh, no, because it would set my medallions to be having... Actually, yeah, it would get me Lex. Okay, there's Bomb Bag. It would get me Lex. It, if I were to RBA Broken Goron Sword, I would, it would set my medallions to be uh, Forest, Water, Shadow Spirit. So that means I would lose Fire Medallion and Light Medallion. Uh, sorry, is... Oh, frogs are junk. Final Frogs is junk doesn't mean anything about the other frogs. You've got to be kidding me. Insane. Frogs were hoarding both bomb bags back to back. Now the OI I'm doing, I'm doing ESS and then uh, pressing bottle one for uh, ESS, press bottle and then press another item. So in that case I'm pressing, I'm holding ESS, press bottle and then immediately after press uh, boomerang. There are two bomb bags with scarce items. So having them back to back on frogs is kind of insane. Frog rewards are tied to the specific song, not progressive. What are the actual odds of that? Uh, there's like roughly 500 checks, probably, so one out of 500 ish, and then one out of 499 ish. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, it depends on, are you talking about checks I've already checked or like the base randomization, if you want to exclude the checks I've already checked. Because technically the odds get higher as I go through the seed as checks are eliminated.
But yeah, point is, it's low. But then you could also say, it may be low, but like, are you looking at the odds of any two items being back to back like that, or specifically bomb bag? I don't have a scale. But I do have bombs. Dude, come on. I just want to... Navi dive now. I should have just played Minuet, honestly. I'll just play Minuet out of here. Yeah, I don't have scale. Or a stage. Storms was in Jabu. Jabu MQ, uh, Backroom Skulltola. Lots of OI. Nope, still no wallet. I'm on the wallet quest right now. I am done. Oh yeah, I didn't get the- I keep- I'm- I keep not getting the soil skulls because I feel like I've gotten them already. Because it's so late that I forgot I didn't get a bomb for- or I didn't get a bottle for four hours. Well, it can be impossible, but uh, currently I would say it's unlikely. I know there's no wallets in shops at least, which is probably the most likely thing that would lock a wallet. Um, I have Lullaby, I have most of the songs. The only... the one that... I think the thing that's most likely to lock wallet right now, if it is locked, or if multiple of them are locked, would be uh, a Pona song. All six water keys. Uh, yeah, I know Carpet Guy is a Bomb of the Well key, so not super important, because I already have a Bomb of the Well key that I didn't mark. Yeah, I'll do sorry after this.
Yeah, I haven't found Bomb of the Well yet. Uh, I might be able to narrow down where Bomb of the Well is. Hold on. I think it might have to be at the end of Spirit. Uh, let me see. Or it could be at the end of Shadow, I think. So the end of dungeon entrances that I don't know yet. I don't know what's at the end of Shadow. I don't know what's at the end of Spirit. Uh, those are the only two, yeah. So one of End of Shadow or End of Spirit has Bomb the Well. Don't know which one. And then the other one must have... What's the last boss I haven't beaten? Or I haven't found? Uh... Wait, I feel like I found every boss. What am I missing? No, I found Twinrova. Twinrova is at the end of Fire Temple. Yeah, I haven't found Spirit. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. So... Oh, then Shadow... Okay, so Shadow must lead to Spirit then. And then Spirit must lead to... Uh... Yeah, so Shadow must lead to Spirit and Spirit must lead to Bomb the Well. Yeah, I'm done. That should have been obvious. I forgot I did... I did this. Did I forget to do Skull Kid? Oh my god. I'll do Rolling Goron and then do it. Wait, did I do the soil skull near the bridge? Yeah, I'll do um I'm gonna come back with Drunia's dance. It's just that I'm gonna after that I'm gonna leave the CAC, so I might as well do this first. This one. Did I do this soil patch? Okay, that's why. Okay, that's why I forgot Skull Kid, because I was gonna combine it with this to save a bug catch.
Yeah, I did see uh, Space Jump first in Primary Master. That's pretty cool. Oh, that looks really hard. Was that a single key? I was so convinced this whole time that Forest must have a key ring, considering I didn't have a single key for it after so long. That is shocking. Yeah, I did get that. There's a scale. Trade in eye drops. Can't do it as child. Child can trade in eyeball frog, but not eye drops. Although actually that reminds me, I should plant magic bean. Well, it's probably not worth it at this point, but I'll do it anyway. But magic bean actually saves a good amount of time, but probably not when I have to go back for it, but it will. I have not submitted anything to GDQ this time. Uh, where am I going? They didn't ban me, I banned myself by choosing not to submit. Oh my god, where are the wallets? No, I did not forget Darunia. You forgot to watch Darunia. Did I lose? I did lose Navi, I'm pretty sure. I'll just go for dive.
If all the wallets are behind cows, that would be insane. Technically not impossible, but I wouldn't count on it. No, there's no need to have a mod check for the log. I still have plenty of stuff to check. It's still a very low odds that this is impossible. Lawnmon had silver rupees, which I went back for. Trap. If it was an ice trap, it would be misspelled and it'd be very obvious. This will give me again a boss key. Yeah, the slow turn's annoying because it's it's based on your direction uh, facing Rudo when uh, the cutscene starts. Normally, I intentionally like try to line up Link as perfectly with Rudo as possible to minimize the turn time. But in Rando, because of the turnaround from the medallion you get the slow turn which I guess means that I should try to make Link face the opposite direction to get the fast turn uh, I guess I could RBA for Lax now I mean I said that I didn't want to I wasn't gonna RBA medallions oh, I don't know maybe I should make an exception I think for now I won't do it, but that is, I guess that is something I could think of. Because I, I was originally thinking there's no like real strategic use for it besides just Unga Bunga, I want medallions now. Give me, give me a uh, easy, easy medallions, but maybe there is some strategic use to it. Can't see. I'll just take bombs. Um, I still need to go to Gerudo Valley. I guess I can do the rest of Hyrule Field Grottos. Thanks for giving us up, Link's Broken Ankles. Lighteros can be vanilla, yeah. Although I already know where Lighteros is, I already know it's in a shop. My goal right now is finding wallets so I can go buy it. Right now, saving Hyrule is capitalism locked.
Thanks for resub, K Bob. I need two wallets to buy because it costs 270 rupees. So I need Giant's wallet. Pocket egg. Okay, so actually that's really good. Uh, because that lets me RBA a wallet. So that's halfway there. Actually, wait, I need to double think about if this is good or not because. Also, I guess I should probably do it before. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna save right before I get this in case this is a wallet. That'd be really dumb. Okay, so I think Egg RBAs, I think it does strength and it does strength and wallet and scale. But I already have, wait, I think it deletes my scale. Well, I mean, deleting scale isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, so I guess... I guess I do it? Here, let me double check what I have first. In case I notice something bad. Okay, so there's the wallet. It does delete my quiver, or no, it deletes my slingshot bag. Uh, yeah, so I deleted my scale. I think strength, I think I should have gold gaunts now. Does this delete my slingshot bag? Okay. Uh, I don't need slingshot, right? Uh, what it might be good to do is save scum. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find where the first wallet is. I'm going to reset after that, and then I'm going to RBA, and then go back and get the wallet a second time. I don't think it's lame at all. I think it's an extra layer of strategic value. Because that's what I, I mean. I, I originally thought that RBA was going to be dumb for Rando, but after thinking about it more, I think it actually does add extra strategy to it. Especially with the new um, trade item rules. Because now it's not a matter of, like, for example, for this, I think it's interesting where. It's not a matter of just, I need to find wallets, it's, I could find wallets or Cucko to RBA. And if I do want to RBA the Cucko, I might have to give up something. For example, it just deleted Slingshot Bag. So I need to make sacrifices, and I think, or, so I may need to make, make sacrifices. So I think it uh, adds an extra, I think it adds an interesting layer to it. Thanks, Reset Aircraft. Not just wanting a mega baby seed. Yes, I definitely am not intentionally trying to create mega baby seeds. You know, like this seed, which was totally a mega baby seed. You know, like how I keep adding new settings to my rando to make it harder and harder. Adding more checks, adding more potential for dumb things to happen. Yeah, dude, really, really just trying to make easy baby seeds. Mm -hmm. 
GV is junk. I don't need to be here. Uh, do I just go adult then? I think I might be done with childs. I think so, yeah. Uh, technically I can do forest stage. I want to do forest stage. I should. Soil skull, what did I just say? Gruta Valley is, is junk. I shouldn't have gone to Gruta Valley in the first place. Euphrigor. Oh yeah, Skull Mask is Slingshot. Actually, you know what, that's a good thing, because I actually want to test, uh... I want to see what happens when I get Slingshot, when I delete Slingshot Bag. So actually, this is a good opportunity to... So I guess I will, I'll redo the RBA. And just, uh, see what happens. Uh... Yeah, so I'll kill Slingshot again. I don't know. Uh, strength is gone, but it's actually a glitch strength upgrade that acts like gold gauntlets. Uh, yeah, my, my Wii outputs uh, HDMI and analog at the same time. The HDMI is native. Yeah, so there's no uh, analog to digital conversion. So I have an analog uh, signal going to a CRT and native HDMI going to my capture card. And my slingshot? No, I still have slingshot. I just don't have the slingshot bag, but I have the item. So it is not proper to unmark slingshot. Does it require soldering? It requires getting a kit and installing the kit. I assume it's with soldering, uh, but I just... You can just uh, send it to someone to install it for you. Okay, so I just want to double check, so... Okay, so this should give me slingshot, so I'm curious how this acts. The newest HDMI mod? I mean, well, so the HDMI mod that I'm using is Wii Duel, which is actually out of production now. And it's actually kind of old. It's from a few years ago. Um, okay, so is that, does that act as first slingshot? Okay, yeah, it acts as regular slingshot, okay. 
Um, so I know there's I know there's something that's supposed to come out soon called Wii Digital, which is supposedly going to be like a better version of Wii Duel, but I haven't heard anything about it recently. So I think right now there actually isn't a native HDMI mod solution that's actually in stock. Oh yeah, I guess Mark, uh, well, I guess technically Mark Gold Gauntlets. Because it did, uh, glitch me Gold Gauntlets. Or an equivalent to Gold Gauntlets. Spirit Temple Boulder Room. Actually, I'm curious how the gauntlet colors work, because, uh, this RBA gives you glitch gauntlet colors in vanilla, and so I wonder with the randomized colors, I wonder how it works. It might just be the same colors. Oh, there is a new one, okay. Never mind. Uh, check what Dr. Lilo just posted in chat if you want an HDMI Wii kit, I guess. Oh, I never checked Storm's Grotto Castle. Or wait, no, wasn't it bed? Uh, no, it was... No, it's not. Okay, I, I do need to check Storm's Grotto here. What's missing is a wallet. I need a wallet to buy light arrows. Spirit required the seed. Nothing directly requires spirit yet, but there could be a wallet in spirit. But right now, all I'm looking for is a wallet. Oh, actually, I can buy some stuff, I think, with just this base wallet. Uh... I can buy Poacher Saw. That won't do anything RBA wise, but. Um, well, I mean, it does do good things RBA wise, but. It mainly gives me Lullaby, but I already have Lullaby. Um, okay, that's pretty much the only meaningful thing, is. Uh. Poacher saw, but I probably should get that anyway. Cool. Could have told me that earlier. Thanks for the sub, Cesar. Saltmaster, thanks for 1500 bits. Cool. Thanks. Oh, actually, if you're saying today is your birthday, uh, if you read something in chat that said today is my birthday, today is not my birthday, actually. Dad likes to say that. But if today is your birthday, then happy birthday. Going probably Fire Temple. We're going to Fire Shadow. Uh, I might want to go to Spirit. Actually, Spirit's probably good because then I can go backwards to the end of Shadow. 
I like that, actually. Uh, oh, you know what? That saves a key in Shadow also. Oh, actually, wait, no, not yet. First, I want to do a few overworld checks. I know I can get Poacher Sod, and then I can do a few um, trade item things. Harko, Kajiro, yeah, okay. Oh, I should have done Broken Goron Sword when I was in Kek as child. Storm Crow outside Thieves Have. I think that one was junk. Yeah, Grid of Fortress Storms is junk. Grid of Valley Storms, though, might be good. Okay, is that regular black omelets? Yeah, it is. Or wait, is it? That might be. It looks dark blue. Can't tell. Oh yeah, Grotto Valley Foolish, yeah, okay. Winner. Okay, yeah, it is blue gauntlets. Oh yeah, blue gauntlets are also regular with silver gauntlets, if silver gauntlets is what you had before the RBA. Okay, uh, buy the saw. Oh wait, uh, park. Okay. Do I need to wake Talon? I do need to wake Talon now. Uh, the medallion pedestal at Temple of Time doesn't tell me medallions. I have maps and compasses give information. And so compasses tell me about medallions. Oh yeah, I still haven't done windmill guy. Thanks every sub, half an hour. Carpet Guy is 200, so I could buy Carpet Guy, but I know Carpet Guy is Bomb of the Well key, which I don't really need right now. Uh, I need rupees. I hope this works the way I want it to. I might be bad here. No, it would have worked, but I missed. Yeah, I can do Medigoron though. I do need to check that. was too expensive, yeah. Yeah, the green and red potions are colored the same color as your hearts and magic, which is cool. Oh, 
I actually should have done this grotto a while ago. Shocker. Need a wallet for go mode. Need a wallet to buy light arrows. Shopkeeper won't let me save my rule unless I pay. You can't RBA light arrows into your inventory. You can have light arrows on a C button uh, for RBA, and it gives you Spirit Temple boss key. Uh, what else do I have? Forgot. Okay, Kajiro and Saw and Lost Woods, and then I already did prescription. Uh, right now I'm just allowing RBA. I think, uh, I feel like Ball Adventure is probably too much to allow because then I could be a Light Arrows. Oh wait, I'm, I'm thinking of Odd, uh, yeah, I'm thinking Odd Potion. Never mind, okay. Also, what's really nice about this setting is that it it technically still gets rid of the Skull Kids, but as soon as you trade in the item, the Skull Kid comes back, which makes it much nicer. So it doesn't feel like I'm getting punished for getting Kajiro. I think there should be a check for all the mask sales. Uh, maybe? I know that they did add in mask, uh, a thing for like each mask to also be randomized, but at least from the sound of it, it sounds like it's not quite the same thing. Like you can find the mask randomly, but I don't think it's like there's an extra check for everything. Yeah, scam. Spirit now. Uh, I think so. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have went to steal Epona and then I can do archery. Oh, well.
Uh, yeah, so when you get rupees from that, it counts as you get plus rupees first and then minus rupees after. So when I had 200 rupees, I got 50 rupees. And then after it added the 50 rupees, it subtracted 200 rupees, which results in a scam. Oh, I can finally get the chest here. Forgot. Uh, I still have plenty of checks to do. It's not, this is not going to be looking sketchy for a while because I can, I need one of three wallets and I still have plenty of checks to do. There's no way that all three wallets are locked. Grotto, Grotto's junk. Very cool. Oh my god. Dude, I literally got a hint about the grotto. It's I'm not predicting it's junk by a hunch. I li it literally told me it's a fairy fountain. The other quiver. There's three wallets left since the wallet I got was from RBA. No, I'm not running out of checks yet. I still have all of spirit, all of fire, most of shadow. Oh, and forest too. I forgot I haven't found forest yet. Uh, what am I doing? I need to. Oh, wait, no, I need to save in there. Well, I need to farm bombs first, actually. Please. 
Actually, do I even know if Spirit is MQ or Vanilla? No. Um... Okay, I think I can save scum this. Uh, the Furrow's Wind. In case I need to save scum keys. Oh, actually, four keys I think is enough. Another bottle. Ocarina, finally. I don't even know how many more times I'll have to play Ocarina. I got excited for a second thinking that was a wallet. You just need one wallet. Uh, 
it's master quest. Or actually, it should go this way. Uh, little talks. I guess it depends on how exactly the progressiveness works. I'm fairly sure the progressiveness works based on what wallet you have now. In which case, the first wallet I get should give me Giant's Wallet. But I guess there's a chance the progressiveness works as its own way of checking how many wallets have has the player gotten. Which is possible, but I don't think that's how it works because of how Slingshot worked. Where when I deleted Slingshot Bag and I got my second Slingshot from Forest Stage, it gave me uh, the regular 30 Slingshot Bag. So I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but maybe. Did I forget the chest? <laughs> Why do I do that? Why am I like this? Already got that. set for Rosewind here and then go do a shortcut. Probably don't need to do this, but it might be better just in case. Uh, do I want to push this? Yeah. Hammers was in uh, DC. Fire key. Bonus song. Oh, and what's that? It's a wallet. Light arrows are at market. All right, finally. Hey. 
As soon as I get a Pona song, it's already meaningless. You know what? Uh, no. <laughs> Nocturne is actually going to be worth it because uh, that's the song that takes me to Ganon's Castle. I actually probably could have bought Nocturne first and then scammed Lighteros, I think. Am I out of magic? You know what? The rare big fairy use. Probably didn't even need that. I could have just got magic from like the Possum Ganondorf's room. But that was cooler. There actually has been a hundo route where the big fairy was useful. Not that, not there, but it was in uh, Lake Hylia where you had to play Sun Song right near the fire uh, right near fire arrows and sun song there happens to activate a big fairy and you just happen to be low on magic there and it just happened to be a route that had significant magic use
Nice black thing. Nice black box. Yeah, that's a visual glitch that happens when you do bottles sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes dipping a bottle just puts like a big glitched black thing over the pause menu. Why am I not a thing to go on toward? Ganon playing melee. Oh, Mark Frankerzy, I'm sorry. I got wallet in Spirit Temple. No, there will not be a second rando today. No, not Mario Kart either. Mario Kart's bad. No, I did like the recent wave. I'm just salty because I'm dead.
you know, typical Mario Kart soul. Okay, neat seed. That was actually pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, so I, I definitely like the uh, adult trade item stuff a lot, and I think RBA, at least for this, was interesting. About to use RBA only four and a half hours in, yeah. Alright, so yeah, let's check spoil log and let's see where the other wallets were and how much time wallet RBA saved. Incoming, one of the wallets was really easy and obvious, and I just missed it for some dumb reason. Alright, here's the spoiler log. Alright, control F wallet. Cag Granny trade odd mushroom. Okay, so I didn't I didn't have odd mushroom, so there's one of them. Lake Hylia GS bean patch. Wait, what? Didn't I get that? Oh no, that was an ice trap. Okay, never mind. There's ice trap with the model of wallet. That's evil. Fire Temple MQ Lizalfos maze side room chest. Okay, so one was in fire, one required odd mushroom, and one was in spirit. Okay, so. No, it was going to take a long time, no matter what. Well, let me see where Odd Mushroom was. DMT Storm's Grotto chest. Where is DMT Storm's Grotto? DMT Storm's Grotto is Hyrule Field, HF, Inside Fence Grotto. Did I forget that? I forgot that because of the sun's grotto. <laughs> I mean, that was still fairly late in the seed. Although, well, I mean, that grotto is still something I could have gotten early on. But that's kind of dumb. Okay, so Hover Boots was in GTG. I was going to go back to GTG soon after this. GTG, I could have actually gone back to GTG a while ago, but I just had other things that I felt were higher priority. I RBA'd um, Pocket Cuckoo for Wallet. Which, again, j just to reiterate why, I th why I'm allowing RBA now. So... Uh, it used to be that, like, for RBA, the main good things with RBA are the adult trade items. And it used to be, like, hypothetically, if I allowed RBA with the adult trade items just as the typical trade quest, if I got, say, Pocket Cuckoo, then I could RBA Pocket Cuckoo and get a Wallet and Strength, and then get Kajiro and get a Bomb Bag and Quiver, and then get Odd Potion and get Song of Time and three Spiritual Stones, and then get a Poacher Saw and then get Songs. And so, like... It was essentially one item that let me RBA a ton of stuff super easily. But now that each of the trade items are separate, it's more like each trade item has a unique property that can allow me to get certain items, but also may have a side effect of deleting certain items. And so it's more like a, it's more like unique properties of items with an also potential downside, and I need to be careful how I use it. And that's why I think RBA might actually be interesting with these with the, these settings. And at least for this seed, I think it was interesting. Because again, I think one of the cool things about Rando is when items have multiple different uses. And I think allowing RBA is essentially just giving trade items a new use and now like poacher saw isn't just a check in lost woods it's or a check in grotto valley 
it's also a potential way to get songs, but also I have to be careful that I don't delete songs that I might need. Sounds like RBA could be catastrophic. It definitely could be if you are not careful, but I am well experienced with RBA, so I should I should know what I shouldn't do. Uh, what what other things should I check in the log? I want to check dins. Where's dins? Oh, that was also in. Oh wow, the the silver block room in GTG had both dins and hover boots. That single room is loaded. Mirror was in Fire Temple. Requiem was in Fire Temple. Another wallet was in Fire. Okay, Fire was kind of loaded. So there's actually, I feel like this is a weird seed where I, I feel like there's an order I do stuff in where this is actually a really fast seed. But like this, the seed had potential to be a very fast seed, but only if I did things in a specific order. Yeah, that's Torvus Bug. Firewall could have been found early if I looked for Fireboski. Not necessarily, because I was at Fire Temple as a child, and I don't think I would have gotten very far. I mean, I, I don't think I would have intentionally tried to do much of Fire Temple as a child. I would have told myself to come back later. But I probably would have come back much later for Fire Temple as adult. Like, I probably would have done Spirit Temple before I go back to Fire, for example. And Spirit is where it ended for me. Okay, well anyway, uh, hope that was fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I think I'm gonna go now. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.